Hey guys, super excited about this one. Tomorrow I'm gonna to go and get to take this thing out for a spin. What is it? It's the Rocky Mountain Power Play Carbon 90 Rally Edition. I hope I got all that correct. But basically what that means, it's just, it's a fancy one. Um, what sort of motor has this thing got? Shimano, Bosch, no, none of those. It's got the Dynami 4.0, basically Rocky Mountain's own motor. And there's a lot of things that are quite different about this. One, you notice it's got a high to mid pivot so that should make the suspension performance a lot more active um, it doesn't actually have the motor in the bottom bracket so should pedal hopefully easier without the motor on and the thing that i'm really excited about is that this this thing here has 108 newton meters compare that with the bosch at 85 and this thing should really go up hills it's even got a setting on here called ludicrous um, so i don't normally make a big fuss about e-bikes climbing hills it's all about going down for me but i'm actually really keen to see what this thing can do up a hill uh, what else does it come with very nicely spec'd out nice set of fox 38s up the front dpx2 uh, coil at the back 170 160 well 160 ish and uh 12-speed drivetrain, XT, XT brakes, nice Fox uh, dropper post. Um, so pretty beautiful bike. The other thing, when we're talking about bigger is better, um, and that's, you know me, I like bigger is better, 720 watt hour battery on this thing. And it even comes with an extension. You can put another 330 on there. We've actually got that, although probably not going to get time to test that. Um, but it's a pretty cool bike. There's a lot of things you can play around with geometry, and we'll probably talk about that a little bit more. Um, but anyway, I've got to just see if I can sleep the night because I'm super excited. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow riding this thing in the forest. All right, we've been having a bit of a spin around for a while. Um, I tried an Eco Trail, Trail Plus, and a little bit of Ludicrous. Um, at the moment we're going to go down this trail in Trail Plus and just see what that's like. This thing's a full 29er. It's actually got relatively small tyres for a big e-bike. It's got a 2.5 Asagai on the front and a 2.4 DH2 uh, on the rear Max, uh, Max's tyres. So um, should roll pretty quick so we'll give that a good test. You know, the Trail 2, whoops, I just hit the old pedal on the ground. The Trail 2 setting is on 70%. And I'd say it's a little bit, it's a little bit less than turbo on the, on the Bosch motor. Saying that, it is fully customizable. You can go in and change um, how much power you want it to be in each of those settings. I think this one is Eco's at 30 and Trail's at 50, Trail Plus is 70, and Ludicrous obviously is 100. We'll just down the trail, Lance. Interesting, I haven't ridden many 29, it's been quite some time. Um, everything seems to have gone mullet. You can actually make this a mullet. I think there's a, you can actually change the uh, linkage, I think and have a slightly longer travel and make it a mullet if that was what you wanted. Yeah, it certainly does seem to roll very quickly. The other thing that I'm interested to try out, it's one of the reasons I want to try this trail, is that uh, supposedly when you go over the 32, which we'll probably do along here somewhere, it's not too hard to pedal. Pedal again. Must be fairly low to the ground this one. Always takes a little bit of while on a new bike. Surprising you get a new bike, you hit the pedal on the ground multiple times, but you usually adjust pretty quick and stop doing it. Nice easy flowy trail to get warmed up on. Certainly a nice quiet bike downhill anyway. No rattles or shakes. Bit of a gap here. Oh, sweet ass. Okay, first impressions. The bike is fast. Um, it handles well, corners well, 
really good downhill. It feels light. Actually, talking about weight, it is 23.5 kgs, I believe, um, which is pretty light for a big full-fat bike. Um, I think the aluminium version comes in more like at about 25, but this is the swanky one. Now, for those of you, um, I do need to say something before we go too far. Um, I've said this before, but many of you will be looking at my handsome face for the very first time. But I'm not a professional YouTuber, I don't do this for a living, and I do have limitations on these reviews. And in many cases, I just have the bike for one day, and that's the case with this. And so sometimes the size is wrong, the setup's wrong, but I, and I don't really have time to change all the things that you would like me to test and change. Uh, and for this is a good example of that. The rider of this bike is 72 kgs, and I'm just a smidge heavier than that. Um, so a bit soft on the rear end. In fact, I put um, uh, changed the fork from 70 psi to 100 psi, so that gives you an idea of how much we were out. Nice fork, by the way. Um, so when I was riding along, did a bit of pedal strike, and I'm pretty sure that's because I'm just sitting a bit low in the travel, and I didn't try any really big drops or jumps just because I really didn't want to bottom the thing out. Now in terms of uh, setup on this thing, the, the other thing, this is a 29er and I did buzz the old Liat shorts a couple of times on the tyre. Um, you can change the position of the rear wheel, it's actually in the short setting at the moment and even with a 29er wheel it's got a wheel um, change day of 437 so that's pretty impressive. Um, you can also play around with the geometry as well on this one, it's got a headset cup on this one, I don't think all models come with that, um, but your yeah, head angle 63.5 to 64.3 somewhere in that ballpark, um, you'll check the numbers online anyway. Likewise reach for this one, some medium uh, 450 to 458. Again, you say, why don't I give you an exact number? Well, again, because you can change so many things on this bike. And the other thing you can change, it's got a little flip chippy thing in there, four different positions. And again, you can change the geometry, the bottom bracket, the reach, the head angle, get it set up. So if you're the sort of person who likes a bike that you can really play around with the geometry, this is definitely the one. The other thing that I really liked about this bike, and um, I think some other manufacturers need to take note, is uh, love the display and the controls on this thing. Nice simple little button, nice ergonomic, you don't really even notice it's there. Uh, nice display on the top tube and it's actually turned itself on. Let's turn it on there, comes up with a nice rocky mount display as you come up. All the information, the battery, the levels, um, but it doesn't, you, there isn't an app with this one, but you can go through uh, by pressing the button up the top here and scroll through, you can set different um, levels for each power. You can even have presets so that if you um, want, want the bike set up for one type of riding, you can just choose a different preset and ride it for a different type of riding. Uh, it even has, this is pretty cool, um, it does have calibration in here. As the chain grows and stretches, um, you can recalibrate the, it so that the motor detects that. So pretty swanky stuff. The one thing I will do, do before we go further, I'll just change the language to Hindu. I think the uh, owner of this bike will appreciate that. Um, but the other thing, Ludicrous, we need to go and uh, check out Ludicrous and find a hill, eh? Now one thing I did say was the bike was dead quiet going downhill. Can't say the same going uphill. Um, it's certainly got a different sound to the Bosch and the Shimano and the Yamaha. Um, it's almost a little bit hard to describe. Obviously I'm coasting at the moment, but listen to this. I'm not sure where the, obviously at the front there are two jockey wheels. So I'm not sure if some of that is coming off the jockey wheel noise, but there's definitely, yeah, a bit of an interesting noise. Like most e-bikes, I think, when I first did my reviews, I was always going on about motor noise, but then I just forgot about it, um, as I just got used to the fact that e-bikes make noise. But this one definitely felt, sounds a little bit different. Alrighty, I guess it's time to try a bit of hill climbing. As I said, I was interested to see what this thing climbs like, given that it's got a 108 newton meters of power. At the moment we're in trail plus, which is 70%, and uh, that's certainly perfectly adequate um, to do this climb. No problem at all. Actually, one thing I do wonder, as you say, having a 2.4, it is a wide tree, but only a 2.4 on the rear with 108 newton meters, whether you can use all of that power and not lose traction. All right, we're in trail plus. Let's try this ludicrous. It's 100%. Feels 
feels pretty good. It's funny though with power because you kind of get used to uh, different levels of power and I kind of imagine from the word ludicrous that it would be, well, ludicrous, but actually it feels quite natural. It, uh, it doesn't feel like an excessive amount of power at all. All right, here's a really steep bit. Let's see how 100% or ludicrous copes with this. No trouble at all. As I say, not really a good test of attraction, but um, certainly no issues getting up there at all anyway. All right, ludicrous. What did I think of ludicrous? Well, it's a bit like Christmas, you know. The night before, you're so excited as a kid, but the next day you get a pair of socks, you eat too much, you feel sick, and it's not as great as you thought it might have been. And I guess that was a little bit with ludicrous. I, I, you saw the beginning of the video. I was almost ecstatic at the thought of riding this. I had the idea that we were just gonna, I was going to power up the hill, struggling to keep the front wheel on the ground. If you watched um, last week's video, um, me and Steve were going up the hill in turbo, and Chris, the owner of this bike, just stormed on past as if we were standing, standing still. And I was so looking forward to it. Um, but it didn't feel like that. It, it felt just, well, you know, like you had more power, I guess. Um, which I think is a good thing, because if it was like uncontrollable power, that would be a bad thing. Um, but it, yeah, it, it, I was a little, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more sheer adrenaline excitement, but it, it just felt quite natural. The one thing I will say though, um, this motor is quite different and it doesn't have any overrun at all. Um, which I always think overrun sounds like a bad thing. The idea that the motor keeps going once you've stopped pedaling sounds like a bad idea. But on this bike, when you stop pedaling, the motor instantaneously stops, you pedal, it starts. So it's really good with a continuous cadence, but if you're a bit stoppy-starty, you do notice that. And um, it, it, I didn't notice it in the lower power settings as much, but in the ludicrous, um, yeah, I, I didn't like it. I did again talk to Chris, the owner, and he said that you, um, you do rapidly get used to the different style of motor. But yeah, I think it just takes a little bit of adapting. If you're used to the other type of motors, this does feel a little different. Anyway, um, why don't we go and try a bit more techie downhill, eh? Okay, I guess it's time to try it out on a little bit more, a little something a little bit steeper, a little bit more tech. Oh, she's getting pretty soft through here. That was pretty smooth, though. Whoa. She does seem to flow. Must have been. See if we get a bit of air. Oh, yep. Oh. I guess I would describe this one as a very smooth ride. Smooth or fast? I'm not sure. It feels fast. Oh. Right. I guess having the, uh, the, the narrower tyres than I'm used to, I've got a 2.8 on the rear of mine. Uh, so it certainly feels for these type of terrain. Whoops, whoa, whoa, got confused there. What's going to take the right line? All right, I need to hold on through here. It's pretty bumpy. Whoa. Oh, well, we held on. Okay, I just want to try something. I want to go down the road and just go over that 30. See what it feels like to pedal with no motor. See, the motor's off now. It's actually quite quiet. Still a little bit of resistance to, oh, that's not bad, not bad. Yeah, so you can see it's dead quiet now that the motor's off. So it's obviously not just the jockey wheels. All right, well, she goes downhill like a rocket. Um, certainly handles well, it was pretty plush at the back end, maybe plusher than it should be. Um, but again, it didn't really matter on that sort of track. We, we weren't doing any really big hits, so I really, really enjoyed that. You may have seen I did a little experiment down the gravel road, um, just pedaled over the, the motor cutout to see what that was like. It wasn't bad actually, um, it wasn't a lot of resistance to pedaling um, without the motor, so that was pretty cool. And you also probably noticed that the noise pretty much disappeared. So 
any noise we're hearing was related to motor noise. It's quite a different sound to, to, to the Bosch and the Shimano and the Yamaha. Um, but it's funny how you, after a while, you just get used to the noise. In fact, I did go back to the owner of the bike um, when I got the bike back, and I said, could you just ride it around and just make sure that that noise is what you normally hear? And he said, yeah, that's what he normally hears. So anyway, um, better finish, I guess, with a little bit of jumps, because who doesn't like jumping a bike? Okay, I guess it's officially time to try it on some jumps. Oh yeah, feels okay. Nice and poppy and light. Try it on the big drop, hey, it's not my bike. Okay. Oh, hey, what was I doing there? I'm not sure. Got the nose a bit up on the hip. Yeah, that's good. On the roll as it rolls, nice. That's one thing I do say about this bike. Nice, fast rolling bike. All right, let's go big on this one. Yeah. All right, get the cleaners and get up for this one. Yeah, oh, we're over. Okay, final thoughts. Now, I know you guys are gonna say, how much is it? Because you guys always ask me if I don't put that in the comments. So do not quote me on this, but I believe if you would import one of these with the extra battery, uh, you can get it for 26,000 New Zealand dollars. You didn't hear that? Uh, I said 26,000 New Zealand dollars. Yes, yeah, some of you might describe that as ludicrous. Uh, it's a lot of money, but it is a very highly specced, nice bit of kit. Um, so let's go through what I liked and what I didn't like about this bike. The thing I liked the most was the Dad's Army custom uh, headset cap on there. Unfortunately, the bike doesn't come with that, um, but still very cool. Um, I love the display on here. I love the way it worked. Um, minimalist, but all the information you need. Love that. I love the little finishing touch, the maple, um, maple leaf on there, the emblem on the front. Uh, I love the orange coil rear shock. Um, I quite like the... The look of the bike, the spec of the bike, um, the Fox dropper post, it's just a very, very nice bike. Um, in terms of the look, it's, it's a kind of polarizing one in some ways. Um, certainly in the bike park, one of my tests is, as I'm riding it around is what are people's reaction. And most people were like, wow, that's a nice looking bike. Um, it is fairly chunky down in the bottom department. So if you're one of these people who like a minimalist looking bike, this is probably not the one for you, but you're gonna go for a small battery, small motor. But yeah, she's, a, she's, she's, got, a, she's got a big bottom. Um, but I don't really mind that, to be honest. I guess some of the things I didn't like about the bike, um, the noise did aggravate me a little bit. I, I, yeah, it, 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 to me, I kept thinking there was something wrong with the bike, and probably you guys in the comments will say, mine doesn't sound like that, but it'd be interesting to hear from you. The other thing is the motor, especially in the high power settings, um, it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to it. It does feel different, the, the output of power. Um, and so, yeah, I, it wasn't something I was in love with while riding the bike, um, but I'm sure I would get used to it. Overall, though, this is an amazing bit of kit. It looks awesome um, and uh, really, really lucky to, to get to ride this thing. Um, if you've enjoyed the video and you don't think I'm an insane old man um, and you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you did that. Always love hearing your comments um, and I'll do my best to answer all of them if I know the answer. And uh, if not, well, we'll see you on the next one.